Well, hello, and welcome to D&D with... Uh, that's ridiculous. Let me... <laughs> I don't know why I was doing Dungeons like a circus. And yeah. Dungeons and Dragons! Dungeons and Dragons! Wait. Feel the power! With Dungeon You know what would be actually kind of cool is every time I said something epic, if there was like an, an echo. Do, do, do. Yeah. Oh, you can do the effect. Like a, you can do that effect. Hello, and welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. With high school students, students, students. I'm your host with the most. I Bill am the dungeon Allen. master, Bill Allen. 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 Come feel the power, 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 power. 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 <laughs> like, what if you? What You're if gonna you, be like, what is what, wrong with him? What if you had like a little like thing that was just like presented to you by the bald union? <laughs> um, welcome to Dungeons and Dragons with high school students. I'm Bill Allen, and my head is burning because. <laughs> There's a thousand watt light bulb and your bulb right behind my hair. head, and I have no hair. So you also you it is hair? just your soul is just so crushed from being bald. Well, and and the gel that Krafa has on that is like the black light gel. So it's like as if somebody had a black light like right up to the back of my head. Wouldn't that be funny if we just started seeing stains just show up on the back of your head? Like, it's burning. It's hot. Don't you have a hat? Um, what if we just put I one do, of those, but then it'll be what, hot. What if we it's just like put, my winter. What if we just put one of the dice sacks on your head like a yarmulke? <laughs> what would be awesome is actually one of those like, Billy, you got, be like Asian straw hats. Billy, to, you like, need to get a ponytail. You need to get like a rat tail. Let's like, still give down. me some oh, no. airflow. It would be so Ew, funny. No, that means Bill would have tail. to go through okay. that phase where it's We've just like all down. We've been seared off again by Tony Kuczynski. Once again, Tony is... All right, so with us today is Tony and Beecher. And Sam, and Albert. Wait, what? That's right, people. Skyla's not here again. Um, so Albert will be filling in and playing Elixia. So now Skyla's character has been played by more people than anyone else in yeah. any season. Wow. Ever. ever. No one wow. has played my character. Yeah, I was gonna say I've been here every single every single thing. That is true. I'm I've pretty featured. sure I have too. I've featured on this show more than Skyla's actually. Commit you've you've played, played Skyla, right? Really? I've I played so. Skyla. Yeah. And I've, I've also played Matthew. So. And now you've worked your so way up. So Sam played, Sam played Elixia. Briz played Elixia. Albert Briz played, played Elixia. Briz played Elixia like three times. Yeah. So, so anyway, here's where we left off. You guys successfully um, defeated the... You stopped the rituals and, and defeated the uh, temple from breeding more of those nasty little demon babies. Kaisil Iblis, the demon, demon babies. What did, they, did we ever find out what their actual name is? Yes, Sam knows. Kaisel Iblis, if you're from Chicago. They're the Kaisel Iblis. They're uh, little they're, uh, red demon you know, babies. You know, they're, 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 they're they eat they meat all the time. They don't eat vegetables or fruits, they eat meat. That's what they eat. So you, awesome. gonna turn, you know that SNL sketch where they all have heart yeah. attacks? <laughs> <laughs> that is me. I had a, um, I had, I had, I had a Euros and fries with Krafa for lunch today. I yeah, that's, that sounds pretty Chicago I'm to me. I'm going to die. All right. There, I still Tony. So, um, <laughs> so people, where you all left off is, Blinded. in fact, you were welcomed back as the heroes that you are. Um, oh, oh, that's right. The Archbishop saw to it that you could stay safely in the palace within the citadel district in safety you guys um and by the way tony hank your pig even got a bath the <gasps> stable can you be in the room with me no the, oh well, come the stable on. hands the no. stable hands there there there's like an actual thing they can't okay. have swine it's in, in the stable. holy palace it's like a religious thing and pigs are swine uh, whatever. so but the, the stable hands that, gave you're, you're hank swine. they gave hank a bath and they, he's like clean now, and they fed him. He's t in good hands. What do they feel? You guys all have like wonderful, like resplendent rooms with like beautiful silk um, flowing silk curtains room? in the windows. Yeah, you have like nice robes. Everything's, oh, yes. you're provided with like fine clothing, like the kind of clothing. If you don't already have fine clothes, guess what? You now have fine clothes. <gasps> and as you may recall, where we ended the last session, you were invited to a, uh, a morning, like a breakfast, a great banquet. At that breakfast, uh, the archbishop is there. Several of the other bishops are there from some of the other leading temples. 
as well as other priests and members of the theocracy, some nobles from various noble families. So there's quite a variety of people, and you guys are recognized publicly. You're brought up on stage. Um, the archbishop explains that you are the reason for this, this recent rash of foulness uh, being defeated and that you guys successfully did that. Everybody applauds you. Um, you, you enjoy a wonderful breakfast slash brunch. Um, Mimosas. Yep. The whole Ooh, thing. And then uh, basically like, you know, after a couple hours, everybody kind of dissipates and, and the, um, the brunch in is over. So the archbishop tells you that you have an afternoon meeting. Yeah, he would like you to attend. Uh, he's brought together some scholars to do some more investigating into some of the things that you found. So you guys go back to your rooms, kind of chill, maybe take a late morning nap. You, you are brought then to a great council room. This is the kind of room that has like enormous marble columns and like mm. gold, like everything that's not part of the marble architecture is like gold. There's like gold icons. There's gold like inlays around the different like statuaries. It's There's, basically like Versailles. Yeah, it, it's it's like every epic classical temple that you can imagine. Okay. Now, as you like, as you're escorted to the great chamber, you get to this huge table, and it's like a it's like a marble, polished marble top table. And you see the archbishop there. He, he nods to you and gestures for you guys to sit down. Across from you are, are some of the other bishops who you recognize from the luncheon. And then you see some other people of different uh, like affiliations. So one of the people that you notice is an older human with like long white beard, very like scholarly looking. And he's wearing like blue robes and there's like uh, moon symbols, like kind of crescents all over the robes. Um, you also see a very old dwarf um, who is wearing like armor. Like he looks like he has some military insignias, perhaps like, you know, some, some different medals and like, like stripes and stuff to denote his rank. But he looks very like official, official and he's wearing like, you know, his armor's like the kind of armor that would cost you a house, like that's what he's wearing, like perfectly polished, like steel plate armor. Um, and then you see a, co a couple other like bookish looking um, scholarly people. And when I say bookish, I mean, they're literally at the table with stacks of books and some of them have like scrolls, right? So they all, they look like they're all from different walks of life now, and different like learned people. Table? It's, it's more like a rectangular thing. Okay. And they're, I mean, you guys are kind of seated on the opposite end. So imagine like this table, but like 20 feet that way. Like the table from The Incredibles, where he walks into that one yes. concert. Okay. Like, and like Still these these table. different learned people, like there, there are a few elves in there, a couple halflings, um, and, and a couple dragonborn. And, and basically everybody has like various books, scrolls, maps, things like that. And people are already like kind of talking as you guys enter. And so, the, you know, the archbishop asks you to sit down and he says, good, I believe that everyone is here now. I would like you all to listen to the recounting of some of the information that was learned by this group of uh, brave citizens. Uh, they have uncovered some, some interesting things and they even brought a few things uh, to share with us. Um, who amongst you would like to share what you discovered in the in the temple and that of the foulness? Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll take a crack at it, um, Ar Archbishop, sir. Um, so we were in this temple. We were looking for the source. We we had a tip that we um, there could be some sort of uh, jewel uh, or or diamond um, within this altar um, within the Earth Temple. And so we went to the dungeons where we came across um, an old colleague of ours. Um, Yomi? Yomi. Right, Yomi, our colleague. And he was invisible and was hidden behind sort of this old archaic um, rug, which we have actually brought with us um, and is in within the hands like of... Like you see several of like the 
the like nerdier looking bookish people, like a couple of the elves, they're like. Oh, hey, I'm talking. As, nerds. As he's explaining, I'm gonna take out our wine bottle of demon eggs and set it on the um, table. They're like. We were after fighting several demon babies in different dungeons and saving a dog. Um, we one of the, one of the halflings who is like, ah, excuse me, he's like demon babies. And I go, um, how about Roger. you shove it up your yeah. little elf butt? <laughs> he's a nerd. He's like, uh, well, I've never. And I tell him that if you keep talking, I'm going to open these up and I'm going to start throwing them at you, okay? The archbishop is like, let's, let's all keep our wits about us. All right, I just want uh, him to know who's in charge. I believe the called? demon babies, we have been led to believe um, by Elore that uh, these were some of the Kaisil Iblis, the, yes. and that, and, and when he says it, like, there's more like, oh, 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 oh. like people We've murmuring and whispering. We their eggs with us in this wine. They're like, oh, thing what? In order to oh. observe it. Sure. They're um, like, and he, oh, we found the crest and we stopped egg. the altar. Yeah. Two or However, three, yeah. as you're saying this, like two or three of the, the scholars are like, they're like, ink. I'm like furiously like writing down notes about what you're saying. And um, we I... got to the crest where we were, we recovered, Yomi recovered the crest. Um, however, what crest? There was some sort of, sorry, a diamond or jewel of some sort placed within the altar that was glowing yellow, gold. At this point, when you say that, the dwarf in armor is like, what did it look like? Was it, uh, what color was it? What, what shape, what it. sort of cut? Was it a stone? Oh. I turned in my... Oh. Dude, that oh. was the gem from the vault. From the treasury. <gasps> that what, remember there wasn't a gem, there was, there was only three of the four gems were in the treasury. I'm gonna say, oh. I'm gonna stand up and say, I didn't get a very good look at this gem, um, but I believe we do have reason. Uh, to suspect that it might be one of one of the very important gems, three of which that are in our very treasury. There's like a rash of murmuring and like rumor mongering and, and furthermore, and like several gasps and shocks and like like one of the priests goes up to the archbishop and he's like, and the archbishop is like, yes, 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 calm to everyone. Furthermore, calm down. Hold on, Kevin. And as as he's talking. first of all, we need to verify some things. Yes, sir. How do you know the name? <sighs> I whispered to of the demon babies. And why didn't you tell us? I looked directly at If, if I may, and then I to re to respond first of all, it would be appropriate to answer Lord Ragnar's question regarding the specifics of this. Was it a stone? Was it a crystal? Tell us more specifically it was a gem, about wasn't what. It? To my understanding, it was a gem. Uh, can I so roll more wisdom? crystalline in nature, can not I like a, a rock. No. Can no. I roll wisdom to remember? Was it? Was there some degree yeah, of opacity? Yes. Can anybody can roll to give more specific details. Fifteen. Wait. Sixteen. Okay, oh, well, I got a look at natural, Albert, just, I got a 19. Just and walking then, in with the 19. Like, all the years of magic. I got a, I got so a 19. Now yeah, you would add, so your your wisdom is... 17 plus 3. So, yeah, so Albert, explain what it looked book. like. <laughs> Alright, and explain. you did... I got a 19. Okay. I'm ready to explain. So, so basically, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say that each of you kind of remembers a couple things. Okay. okay. Now remember, you didn't get super close to it, because when you guys came into the big chamber, you were kind of looking at it from afar at the altar. And then you'll but you will, you'll each remember something. So first of all, yes, it was more like a gem or crystalline in nature. Like okay. there were facets to it. And you would remember that there was some degree of opacity. There was Can some degree that? of see-throughness because you were looking at it. Remember how it was like... Um, Glowing. Glowing and kind of like yeah, it like it kind pulsing of like pulsing uh, yeah. uh, a light. And that the last thing I will say is that you also remember that it was warm in that room. It was in other words, it was emitting uh warmth. That the temperature of that room was warmer because this thing was like emitting warmth. Okay. 
So now you, in okay. character, go ahead and relay what you decide you want to share with them. Go oh, ahead. Elixir? And I also have this demon egg that I took. Which he says on Puts this one pound egg on the table. Oh yeah, and by the way, the, the sages and the priests and scholars are like losing their minds. Like two of them are just like, like one of them starts like literally drawing like depictions of what the egg looks like, and he's like, oh, and he's like, you know, and there's another one like sketching it out, and then there's another one like flipping through books, and he's like, could that be it? He's like, no. And like looking back and forth. And then there's a couple across the other side of the table that are like listening to what you guys are saying and they're like looking through scrolls and books to see, you know. So basically, they're, they're like, what's, uh, the archbishop is like, everyone slow down. <laughs> the stone. Let's answer Lord Ragnar's question first. So okay. it, it was a crystalline gem type thing. Um, As a certain amount of opacity to it and it almost appeared to be like, like throbbing. And As color. we walked into the room, it seemed very hot. Okay. Um, that heat might have been emitting from the stone itself. And the color. You you remember it was kind of like a fiery orange. Oh. It was orange. An orangish. Like right. At, fiery at this, orange. The, <laughs> the, the Lord Ragnar, you assume, because that's yes. what the Archbishop referred to him as. The dwarf is like, hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. And he like gets up and leaves. Can I call him? You, you go to get up and, and the archbishop is like, uh, please. He's he, he's going to check on something. He'll be back. Uh, Olin, you asserted that you had a suspicion about something re related to the treasury. Well, in our investigation of this whole entire matter, we decided to stop at the treasury because uh, we know that these, name of the demon babies, um, we noticed that these are highly attracted to wealth. So we thought we might find clues where some of the greatest wealth in our entire kingdom is at. Um, and as we went to the treasury, we noticed stones um, that were heavily guarded and for good reason um, that seemed to be highly magical. Uh, Despite there being four, uh, four temples, all, all representing four different elements, um, we noticed that there are only three gems that seem to be highly uh, suggestive of each element, despite the earth one, or despite without this the earth orange, being, yeah, yeah, without yeah. this orange stone being included. All the priests are like. Oh, this they're like bickering, arguing amongst themselves. I'm suspicious of The you. Archbishop was like, all right, I'm happy to hear. thank you. You have brought other things. This yes, sir. is even more layers of disturbing, which we must now discuss. It is very important that we have an understanding of what you discovered. I'm going to point to the one pound egg. Yes. And say Take this egg, name. we believe, is a mature demon, demon baby. baby name. Or perhaps some sort of special. Cup. I take my dagger. Stab it away. Do you no, really? No. No. Oh, no, no, no. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I was going to do that. <laughs> and they did the master manual. <laughs> All right. Um, you notice that the. Not so much the priests, but a couple of the more scholarly people and. <laughs> The human wizard with the long white beard and the blue robes, remember how I described him? Mm -hmm. yeah. He seems to be taking particular note of that blue egg. And in Bill fact, he goes, is red egg. excuse me, or the red egg. He's, uh, yeah, blue cloak, blue cloak guy is like, excuse me, may we inspect that? Bill, can I right ahead to see if the blue robes section. with the moons on them are similar looking to the painting on the, the ceiling? You may. Can I? I have better history about that. Okay. You want to roll? Um, what are we rolling? To see if the the wizard's robe is similar to the picture we saw in the prison. In the You remember dungeon. the picture uh, yeah, on the ceiling? Yeah, yeah. Um, Albert, can you also roll for that? Yeah. One. 
Oh, come on, Albert, please. Magic the Gathering, Magic um, 20. 14. Oh, that's good enough. <laughs> yeah, it, there's, there's some similar um, uses of color and symbolism to what you guys saw in, in the mural Bill. on the ceiling when you opened up Bill, this. Can the, I remember the cloud? Yeah, door? that's what and, I was trying to figure. And there was like the moon and the clouds in the like sky and the night sky. Like can I stand up and I'm, call him on that? And just out of curiosity with the painting, can I be like, excuse me, sir, um, we noticed that there was a painting in the prison that guarded the place where we kept the egg that had symbols that looked very similar to your robe. Could, would you mind explaining, just due to my I ignorance, who you are? That is so, like, instigating. <laughs> yeah, that's just, like... I know, but I'm calling He's like, name. yes. Could you tell us who you are and no. if any relation? You asked if I would mind. I said yes. Can I turn to the Archbishop and go, there's something suspicious you, with right, this so guy? Alright, so you notice the Archbishop go like... <sighs> Caden, please, let him examine the, the egg. It is important that he lend his particular insights into this specific realm of Arcana. I have invited him here. He, he can be trusted. I'm gonna stand up and bring the egg to him. And as I go to place the egg in front of him, I'm going to stare him directly in the eyes and do a little bit of an insight roll on him. Okay. Good feature. Meta moment. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. What is, what is Two. C R? Close. <laughs> feature. You can transform Two. into a challenge rating one beast. Were, so, the, were the things that we saw, the little demon things, CR1 beasts? Well, they're not beasts. What are they? So think of beasts as animals. Oh, okay. Those are, those are Demons. Demons. Oh, yeah. Okay, demons. So, like, I wasn't sure what the terms. Animals, like, you know, think of any conventional, <gasps> normal oh, animal. Like a wolf or something. Yeah, wolves, okay. even bears. Like, I mean, uh, yeah. Snake. Like real life. The only ones that you can't do at this level are swimming, like ones with gills. Yeah. Um, although, you know what? I think he could turn into a turtle. Because a turtle's not a fish. So if you wanted to ever turn into a turtle, you probably could. Although I think I'm really suspicious. But you of this can't guy. turn into a bird yet. You right. can't fly, just and like you can't, you can't breathe underwater. All right. I have but any other animal people, right? that's a normal animal, pretty much you ask me, and, I, and I'll tell you. I don't think. You okay, be back in. Paranoid what was your roll? A two. Okay, you. Uh, I mean, what's the total for insight? Two. Oh, two. I see. <laughs> I thought you rolled a two and maybe have like a bonus. You're saying you rolled a one. I rolled a two. You rolled a two. You do you don't sense anything odd other than maybe that this guy's just kind of a, a like a dick, like he's kind of haughty, and he thinks highly of himself. So he's like, "Thank you," and he takes it and he sets it down and he's like looking at it. Hmm. And as he's looking at it, and then he he leans over to one of the scholars next to him. And he's like, "The uh, bring up the tome of the infernal, uh, blah blah blah. I'm somewhere in the middle, I believe, maybe the seventeenth chapter. There should be something." As they're like talking it, about stuff. As and he's, he's like, inspecting yeah, it, I'm gonna something. I'm gonna kind of slam down the wine bottle of little baby eggs, and I go, "You might find this interesting as well," and do another little insight roll. He looks at that and he goes, "I wouldn't slam that too hard." He's like, "You could unleash a whole bunch of the Kaiser Libraries. I don't like this guy at all, Bill. I'm not too worried. He's like, about "This the has babies. a more protective shell." I turn into he picks a up the dagger and he goes, attention. "Boom!" and he hits it. And the dagger goes clang. Nothing happens to the shell. He goes, as you could see, if I had done that with one of those, I would have unleashed something. You'd I think you would have unleashed a uh, nothing. We were squashing these in the dungeon like they were peas. Oh, interesting. Did you wait around for 24 hours afterwards to see what would happen? I'm you sure did. you didn't. Now, Archbishop, uh -huh. if I may... These discoveries made by these uh, faithful servants of the realm are helpful, but have not yet answered the real question of who is behind this. It's him. I believe that you all know my suspicion, but I will let you arrive what at those conclusions. Suspicion? What's your suspicion, what, what is, pal? What is, what if you don't mind action? telling me. 
Hmm? Yes, Wait, I do mind. How the demon babies came to be. I will uh, investigate this further with my colleagues and give no. you a full report, no. Archbishop. I'll t I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the egg and say thank you for your analysis and bring it back with me. He stands up and walks out, and then two of his minions are like, "We, we no, have this, we have it's our possession. Our egg. We found it. No, they're they're, they're like." Uh, and the archbishop is like, yes, please give them the egg. They have to take it to us. I, I stand up and I, I go, I don't trust him. I'm you better say, give it to someone else, I, archbishop. Uh, the, the archbishop is like, please, I will explain everything. I assure you that Master Azeron is to be trusted. He's, can I, can he's I, one of the I wisest can and I most learned him? wizards in, in our I, entire I would say, Do you mind if I come and watch and uh, observe your studies of this egg? What do you want to do? Can I sneakily follow him? Like me say I gotta go pee and then jump on top of the roof and follow him until I? I see where he goes? Dude, turn into a fly. That's what I was Please. Okay. Slow down. I haven't even send send Albert. Yes. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I was gonna do this earlier. Can I turn into a little mouse yes. and follow him? Yes. I'm gonna send Jaquan. Okay, invisible but here's Jaquan. the... Send invisible Jaquan. How do you tell that you're gonna send invisible Jaquan? How do you tell them that before they go sneaking off from the table? He How just you turns to me and goes, no don't worry about you it. You don't? Jaquan. I'm going to say it, guys. I'm do you, you're going to say things? He Take just, a look at your character, warlock. Telepathy. What can you do with your mind? Telepathy is a The warlock. awakened mind. I, don't, I didn't pick that one. You didn't pick awakened I mind? Hexblade. Oh, man. You dumb, dumb. Wait, just write it on a little piece of paper and hand it to them. <laughs> no, it to just them. I'm going like, to whisper just, to you guys we'll and I go, look at I'm going to say, Jaquan is on the case. And okay, then I'm going that's to good. Telepathically tell Jaquan. I will, I will let you. You guys will, don't need to, to roll for that. You know if you you can read between the lines. I all right, fine. I will turn into a mouse and so ride Jaquan. So here's the question: You're sitting no, at a table invisible. with twenty other people. So you'd be a flying mouse. You Are you just gonna boop, disappear? Go take and a turn break. into a mouse. Pee break. That's no, true. he's Jaquan's already that's going. Like it'd be it Okay, okay. So I'm at a table with yep. twenty people. Yes. So if you just like that. What, You're what literally, it would be like it? if you disappeared and, what and people saw the, a mouse. What around. time of the day is it outside? It's afternoon. So is it dark yet? No. Just okay. go to the bathroom. Yeah, that go was, to your that's room. Why you you are you guys follow. going though? Jaquan, Jaquan is, is on invisible. The case. Yeah. He's flying. He can't talk. I'm going to say, I, I'm, I'm going to him. say, Elixir, you would understand. Jaquan is on the case. Okay. And I'm going to telepathically say to Jaquan, follow this man. Jaquan. Yes, Master. I will follow him. And report back. All right. Aww. So, like um, the like Archbishop, again, Olin, please let, let, thank you. Yes. So, um, the last item that you had mentioned was a rug. Before we give you anything else, I want I to know exactly who he is. Thing. Okay, let, allow me to explain. I have brought this convocation together this, to, to counsel me and therefore so that I can better counsel His Holiness on what happened and how to best deal with it. These are all experts in various fields. We, these are all trusted members of the theocracy. So you bringing this information to, to me is the same thing, or to sharing it with them is the same thing as sharing it with me. They're not taking these things anywhere. They're going to be right in this palace. Uh, there is a laboratory in the lower levels of the palace where his team can investigate this egg, just like they will investigate that bottle full of smaller eggs. Sir? And then another team of people will probably take a look at some of the other items that you have spoken of. Sir, if I may be so bold, I don't know how safe underground is right now. After all, it did seem that the demon babies were sweltering in small underground caverns within and beneath the citadel. I, I understand your concerns, but his laboratory is very heavily protected by magic. And again, I may I ask I who no he way. specifically is? He is the high arcane counselor to Kor Pygambar. He is, I am the archbishop. I am the direct divine counselor to his holiness. The master is the arcane counselor. He is the highest wizard in his order who advises the leader of the theocracy, who advises Kor Pygambar. And 
I will answer a question that you might have been asking when he said that he had a suspicion. The master has always felt that the Mantiro is trying uh, to infiltrate and, and conduct subversive activities here in Kabul Kailash. And in many respects, I don't consider this to be some odd conspiracy theory. I believe that there are agents of the Mantirum who are probably here spying, but I don't believe that the Mantirum would be this reckless. They are, after all, the Mantirum. So you guys would On remember. The heart? No, the Mantirum is actually the kingdom to the east, okay? And it's a majocracy. So they don't have a king, they have a council of wizards that govern the kingdom, okay? The, the domain. So the Mantirum is a majocracy, and it's directly to the east of Kabul Kailash. So basically what, what he explains is that there's been a long history of suspicious activities, spying, that kind of stuff. But the Archbishop doesn't believe that the Mantirum would just go to straight out acts of terrorism. That's not their style. Right. Spying, yes. But creating demon babies to, you know, terrorize civilians, that's not something that they would do. The master thinks that they, you know, so that's where these two counselors to Corp High Gombar, that's where they disagree. I do, he's, so anyway, back to him. He's like, I do not believe that the Mantirum would be so reckless. There's no precedent for that. It's not their style. The master is a bit more competitive. As a wizard, he is a bit more competitive because, well, of course, the wizards of the Mantirum consider themselves to be the best wizards on the entire continent, which may be true. Can I ask you a question, Archbishop, in your opinion? When you say competitive, would you almost call him power hungry for sorts, or simply just full of hubris? Well, I would say perhaps a little more prideful. Mm. Interesting. Thank you, Archbishop. Yes. Um, Can I show? I hope that that you you are sufficiently at ease with with this knowledge. And I hope that you appreciate that we would like to keep what happens here at this council at a relatively strong level of secrecy. Of course. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, while this is all happening, I'm gonna communicate with Jaquan telepathically mm -hmm. and say, like, what's the news? What's going on? Jaquan's like, they went downstairs. Are you following them? Yes. It's a long hallway. <laughs> It ends in a door. There are symbols all over the door. Meh. There are arcane symbols, and they're scary, and I don't want to go in there. Jaquan, you just you grow a pair and go It would be a very there. bad idea if I went in after them. Don't do it. They're going through the door, and they're speaking a word to the door. What word? Don't. Mm. You, you, don't go in the door. Ask him what word. Go in the door. Okay, very well, Master. I will. It's like your cell phone just died. Like, you have no connection to Jaquan. You're like, Jaquan? 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 Now, you know, do you, do you have voice of the chain master? Yes, I do. So you could, you could work out for a second, like lean back and close your eyes and enter his senses to see and hear and smell what That's he smells. That's what I would love to do. Okay, awesome. Can I start distracting the Archbishop? Yes. Archbishop, I actually had a question about this rash Wait, that's growing I, within I, my no, nostril. hold on. I have an actual Oh, no, I, I have a question to actually Archbishop. show him. Okay. Can I show him the unfamiliar gold coin with the stamp that I have? Yes. Because I... And can I also ask about the signet ring? Because... Apparently, I need to know what it is. <laughs> yes. Let's start with the coin. Okay. So you show him. How do you show him the coin? I say, Archbishop, I have a question about this coin that we found. He looks at it and he's like, hmm. 
I've never seen this. I'm keeping He's like, uh, hmm. Carl, have you ever seen a queen <coughs> with this? And he like leans over to one of his other advisors and the advisor's like, uh, no, master, but it may be in the, and they like start consulting this book and you see like little pictures of different like noble houses and stuff. This is, it looks very ancient. And all so there. in the meantime, I go to a, to the bathroom and just turn into a mouse. Okay. That's it. All right. I'm just a mouse right now and I'm. You go down the hall, um, you turn into a mouse. Okay. No one's not me. far from that same hallway where there's um, a wash closet is a stairwell going down. And you did hear them say that they have a lab downstairs. You work, right? Make a con save. I make a con save? Mm hmm. 19. As you're going into Jaquan's senses, you feel that he's dead and you pull yourself out just in time. You feel that he is not on this plane anymore. Unless you went into a different plane. That's well, the lab goes. You, basically he's dead on this plane. So if you want to resummon him, you have to, you can do that tomorrow yeah, after yeah, a long rest, yeah. but something happened. If I resummoned him, would he? I knew we could. That guy's. That would guy's, he have any remembrance? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> all right. Fine. No, all right. Um, all of killed all. all well, not you, because you're not there. You and you, since you're the only ones paying attention, because he was like warding out into Jaquan. Make a perception roll. Fourteen. Wait. What? Let me see what. Add in your perception. Uh, plus one. I have fifteen. Seventeen. Okay. So you guys don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Um, the, uh, the, the archbishop is like, you know, anything? And Carl's like, nothing in this book, sir, but I could check the library. Uh, there may be something older or from one of the early Elven kingdoms. And he's like, yes, see, it's curious. Uh, I wonder why there would be a single coin with such old uh, heraldry. Interesting indeed. I feel like you're feeding us some question. Clue question to Bill. To yes. <laughs> I have. Metaphor. What? Wait, I have like good like smell, right? Yes. Okay. It, can I like go down by the door and smell if I smelled like what I smelled in the dungeons that we fought in? You could try. Yeah. yeah. I'm scared. That's not a. That's not a. I don't trust your face. <laughs> Show expression. Is it because my mustache has not grown back to its former power yet? <laughs> Is that why you don't trust me? <laughs> no, because you made a face and then Jaquan went down there. Yeah. And be up and So I'm, I, as the mouse, where am I again? I'm not near the So you could go and scurry down the stairs and be on the basement level. And start sniffing around. You did hear before you left, you heard them say that. Yeah. The lab was in the basement. How how he is the hallway? Like what's in it's that hallway? It's beautiful and like white, marble. Are there like desks or not? Yeah, desks there's like columns. There's like planters every ten feet. So I'm I'm going there's to scurry down statues. there. Statues. And I'm gonna stick to the wall. Yeah, there, and there's like, to, like plenty hide. of things you can hide. Yeah, so Sorry. I'm gonna hide, make sure no one sees me, and I'll let you make a stealth roll with advantage. So that means roll two of the d20s and pick the highest of the two rolls. Okay, where's my stealth? Wait, Bill, yes. can I call to see if there's any, like, little, like, insects within plus my three. perimeter? Yes. Wouldn't it be great if just one time, So, Bill? 13 uh, plus 3, so 16. Yes. Almost yep. What, tried to roll. Wait, my animal handling is plus 4, so it's, it's, it's 13. Tony, there's a butterfly outside. It flies <laughs> through the window towards you. <laughs> and it lands on your shoulder. Can I tell it to go fall, to, like, go into, like, that little dungeon? Like, fly underneath the thing and try, like, try to get It's like... It doesn't actually talk, but it's like. <laughs> Will I tell it to like report back to me? Can I know what it's see? Sure. It's never. I'm not ever gonna see it again. <laughs> All right. No, dude. Do you get down the stairs. You go down a very long hallway. Oh, because you meet up with you. No. You, you want company? Because you no, can talk I to. I was it. You should have told it to fly into the bishop's mouth. 
<laughs> wait, wait. I tell it to fly to the bishop's mouth. I tell it, wait, fly to the bishop's mouth. It turns around and it flies that way, and the archbishop's like, and just swats it away. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> wow. I had caterpillars. Okay. In mouse form, you make your way, mm -hmm. darting from column to column in mm -hmm. this basement hallway until you see a door at the very far end. Now remember, you're a mouse, so you're looking up at this door and it's massive. And there's all these symbols in the door. It's like a big, thick wooden door and it's got like silver inlaid in it, like poured into it, like in shapes and stuff mm -hmm. and like lines and shapes, oops, sorry, microphone, uh, connecting things. So it's super, it's just super, super. Are there any cracks? in the it's door that so I can look through. Yes, on the very bottom. Don't Is there any me. light emitting from the door? Yes. What color? Um, like normal torch light, it looks like, or candle light. Like, you, you could see like a slight flicker. In fact, here, because the floor is marble and it's clean, because this is a palace, it's like kind of polished, you know? You know how you, like, you get like You're a able mirror to see effect? Reflection? Yeah. yeah, you see like I was just candle ask. flickering on the, you know, you can't see anything else under the door. What do I hear? You hear it talking, like, well, it could be from the old uh, manual of blah, blah, blahs. Yes, perhaps that's it. Oh, we should check that. Yes, uh, but now the scales, the consistency of the texture is blah, blah, blah. And like people, kind of like a mix of like a, the sounds of like some, some things that you understand from like your knowledge of nature, um, but also some, some more like arcane things where they're like talking about theoretical things and like you know, different magical kind of... Kind of the fact that Jaquan is dead still makes me suspicious, though. I don't think he's dead. He's well, they said the room is protected by magic. He's on another planet. Jaquan was cut out. They said the room... He went in the room, right? They said the room's protected by magic, so that magic might be stopping the telepathy from working. That was what I was thinking. Or he... See, I still think there's some sort of transportation, like another plane thing, because we saw that symbol before. I have a feeling it's probably the same symbol that, like... Touch it. Because, well, here's the thing. Like, you remember, like, the one, like, the, the last time we saw the picture, like, we couldn't get through the door. There was something magical mm -hmm. protecting it. We couldn't figure it out. Wait, what did we say that made the door open? We looked up. A, a ceiling oh, wow. and made the door open. Yeah, but what did we say to it? We didn't say anything. We did something to it. Didn't we, Bill? Because it wouldn't Can open. We knew wisdom? that the picture was there. Oh, you wisdom. told us. The clouds? Wisdom. Yeah. What did we do to but, open yeah. it? Looked up at you the found it, and then you breathed on it. I breathed on it? Yeah, because it clouds, wind. Yep. Is there any? Are there any plants in the hall? Are there any plants in the hall? Up hallway? there. The ceiling. Yeah. Wait, look, I'm going, it what's on the ceiling? No, I'm it's what we saw the last thing. Like, I'm going to go to a plant, get a leaf, and see if I can slide it under the door and see what happens. Hmm. Still think you should look up. And then I look up. Or you I look what? up. I look up. Leaf. Leaf. It seems to be okay. Like you, you, you kind of shove it as far as the, like, so it definitely crosses the threshold under the door. Mm -hmm. And like nothing happens. Like you could still see the stem that you okay. pushed. And then I have to it, pull it, it doesn't. Yeah, you pull it back, it seems okay. And I inspect it, nothing magical. It's not like burned or electrified or cold. Bill, did no. you see anything when you looked up? No. Anything ever come? It's just the solid. Sorry. The only thing with any kind of markings is this door. Okay. What are so, the markings? Like all these arcane yeah. markings. Are they, any of them familiar from the dungeons? Can I roll wisdom? You can, you can roll arcana, Words, which is it? in your proficiencies. If you one, have, yeah, plus yeah, one. Go ahead. You might roll something epic. 15. Not bad. Uh, you recognize a few of them as elemental symbols, like there's one for like force, there's another one for, yeah, pretty much just force. What's force? Not quite electricity, not I know quite fire. Talking. Like the for like Star Wars, the force? Uh, well, kind of, yeah, energy. She's say. still, she's still talking to the Archbishop, right? Are they still? Well... Everybody at the table's kind of broken off into like individual discussions and people are like kind of comparing notes. But um, at this point, the Archbishop is like, so we have seen some things that you have chosen to share. Is there anything else that we need to know about what was found? You had mentioned in your, yesterday, you had mentioned that there was some poor soul who had right. been ritually 
The yes. dog was sacrificed. sacrificed. We mentioned that, didn't we? They, they're also trying to sacrifice a dog, I mentioned to the Archbishop. Well, the the, dog the was, dog it wasn't even a dog, face. it turned into the demon. Oh, right, yeah, there was, so there was a dog. Forget about the dog. That I, but I was able to talk to him, though. I technically spoke to one of the demon babies for, like, five minutes. Hmm. But it was disguised as a dog. But in what, what were the circumstances in which you found that bottle full of the eggs and the whole ritual thing. Describe that. So, uh, as we got, as we approached that ritual room, um, there seemed to be a guy, a, a man, what, like running the ritual? Or like yes. doing the ritual. Um, with a couple little servants uh, that were demons, I believe. Um, and there was a man chained to the altar. Uh, this man looked very malnourished, weak, um, and after we had defeated the enemies in that room, uh, and upon later inspection of the man, he had already died. Uh, and someone, I don't remember whose idea, was to cut him open and see if there was anything interesting about him. Inside his body, we found these, those little eggs. Um, like all the, the scholars are like, yes. So we believe they were using that bo his body as almost like a host uh, that the... A life source? Yeah, like a life source for the little demons, for them to grow up, uh, eventually use his body as a, as a transport system where they would very uh, discreetly move around the crowds in this city as a person, um, but disguised. It's like Venom, like the movie Venom, if you saw that. Yeah. It's the, so it's like a parasite, and they control what like, the person's doing for their own benefit, so they like Yeah, look at Albert with the on-fire insights. That's right, you know what, Albert, Parasite. you get an inspiration point. You just earned an inspiration point. Now, you can't have two, so I think Skylar just wrote her proficiency in the wrong place. So now you get one. Okay. You have one inspiration point. And what that means is, anytime there's a special role or skill check, you can use that to improve your odds. Okay, so the Archbishop is very intrigued by this, and several of like the murmuring scholars are like, all right, and then like one of them asks a question, they're like, was the person dead at the time of the implantation of the no. skill? Of the eggs were alive. He was alive. So he was forced to swallow them? How did they get them in there? We don't know. We believe it, it like I one would of them assume was like, it was part of the ritual somehow. Mm. Were they growing in him? It seemed as if. As if they had been planted. Hmm. So maybe, maybe, they're demon eyes, right? Yeah. What, yes, what this if? is very peculiar. And like How one of the other scholars is <clears> like, <throat> that, that is very anomalous. The, uh, typically, the Kaisel Iblis are uh, hatched in clutches of eggs, as you would find with a snake or lizard, uh, buried into warm sand or soil, and uh, no, nurtured by things. a uh, warm-blooded creature. They need you're, in, you're asserting, uh, or implying rather, that, that the, the, these eggs were being hatched in a living host and a some kind of symbiotic relationship. And we believe incubated. that they're actually w In, yes. having them walk around as well, the city, and that's how they were just magically just popping out. Murmur, murmur, whisper, murmur. And like one of them is like, that is preposterous. That, that has never been, there's no record of such well, then a thing. How would you explain it then? Yeah, like they're pulling out books and like arguing. Well, they're, they're arguing like with each other more than they are with you guys. Yeah. And then like, so a couple minutes go by again. And like the the archbishop is like, okay, we'll we will discuss this further later. Let's. Uh, what else? What else can you share? The, with us? I just wanted to elaborate on that. The reason why we would believe that they were using them as a host is uh, when earlier, prior to us even exploring this temple, we uh, we were following one. Uh, we were following a man dressed in all black cloaks. After we were able to. Uh, basically get this creature into a more controlled environment we took off its black cloak and it revealed 
many of these little demon babies kind of nested in next to each other, surrounded by more of a sack that looked almost skin-like. Um, and it was in the shape of a human. That is why it was able to blend into crowds. That is why we believe that they were almost nesting these demons into people. <laughs> arguments, murmurs, murmurs, arguments, but gossip. Like people are, again, they're like writing things down and some people are like shouting across the table and like, like one of the scholars is like, you know, like it's it is possible. There's the you know and like there's so they're kind of arguing to be again back. Can and one forth. of them just burst into tears out of like stress and excitement? So then then <laughs> a, again after a couple minutes more, the archbishop is like, "This has been quite an interesting discovery that you've shared. A series of rather interesting discoveries. We we de must definitely absolutely research." all of these things more because uh, as several members of the council have mentioned, this is rather peculiar. Not a common, perhaps not even, un uh, I wouldn't even use common or uncommon. This could be an extremely rare circumstance, possibly unique. I'm not sure if we've ever heard of such a thing. So we will have to do more extensive research and perhaps reach out to some of the additional temples and uh, acolytes and scholars who may or may not be able to help us. You had mentioned something about a rug. Was that significant to this ritual or? Uh, it seemed not to be else? significant, but it was what seemed to be protecting the dungeon from us reaching it. Really? In yes. what fashion? Well, every time we tried to cross it, it would throw us up against the wall. And the only way to get, escape it was to be to kind of shimmy our way past what appeared to be almost like a force field. Which is also where Yomi was hiding, hiding, and if we haven't mentioned it before, he is also who we suspect has taken the gem. Really? We yes. The dragon blood. blood. Well, you will have to give us right. more information about um, this Yomi. Yomi shortly. And you said you brought this rug with? Yes, This absolutely. rug with magical powers? Um, perhaps we can... I don't want to... Open it here. I don't want anything to. Of course, anyone. I get have hurt. it on me. Can I give it to him? Yeah, he's okay. like. Uh, he gestures to his assistant, who's like, oh, "Thank you, sir." And like, let's open it somewhere safe, perhaps like outside in an open area in Ooh. the courtyard, as opposed to a condensed area. I don't want anyone to get hurt. So, uh, although please. he's like, perhaps the, the meditation garden just oh, below God, us. That's uh, well, no one's out there. It's just open sand and space. So. All right, man. Your uh, do, you, do you recommend in any fashion how it should be opened? Or? I would, to be completely honest with you, sir, it or seemed... What as, seems oh, to activate it? or uh, Well, it seems to be permanently we activated. make sure you are not to roll it up um, outside going in. Make sure you roll it into itself. I see. Um, also... Um, I would almost recommend keeping it in a closed area as it only seems to affect what it can like sort of reach within it. I'd be worried with a limitless like sky what He's that like, could possibly do. On second do. thought, do not open. He's like, do not open it in the meditation garden. Perhaps a dungeon if you have one or uh, a cell a of some sort. Well, I, we, we'll find a place that yeah, perhaps would work better. Uh, no valuables, sir. And, and maybe, a... maybe in, as a matter of caution, um, we could perhaps put some safety components in. Perhaps in a barn with like hay bales so that if there is some kind of a oh, sure. function yeah. as you said, it would it would not Hurt propel people. someone into a hard surface sure, but a or soft create one. any kind of explosion, uh, explosive impact. Uh, yes. he, he's like, for now, just let's put it in into uh, the, the parlor, into the third cabinet, just for Safekeeping, keep it rolling. I would also advise not assaulting the rug or trying to Good. attack it in any way. <laughs> it seems that all attacks... He points to the scribe, like, and the scribe's like, ah, yes. Like, right seems down. attacks are repelled not directly back at you. Do not roll outwardly. You know, like, so... Oh, and I also find it helps if you lick the rug a little bit right before opening. <laughs> roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it helps. Damn it! It's a six. Wait, wait. Let Can me see I what my deception is. It's plus four. I get a ten. All right. The scholar, the scribe's like, okay, and then he like <laughs> writes it down. He's like, you can see that on his face. He's like, 
That seems odd, but who knows? They did find a demon egg. All right. So you I'm guys, so, uh, am I still at the door? Lick that rug now. Yeah. Lick okay. it. You you still hear the kind of the same things and like, there are certain points where there's just like silence and like you'll hear like, nothing for you know, five minutes and then you'll hear this. Could you describe to me the plants and like what's in the plants? Like what are they being held? In? And you hear a lot of like, hmm. <laughs> like just page turning, and then like every once in a while it'll be like. Where is that one scroll from the uh, early history of the seventh dynasty? Oh yeah, it's a good idea. Like so, they, it just sounds like they're basically doing like research. But this is what I think to my Madam moment for a second. Hold on. Oh, what are the plants being held in? Uh, like very nice marble bowls with like a, uh, sure. you know, a pedestal, like a nice stand-up pedestal. Can I? It's not just plants too. There's like statues in the hallway. I mean, there there are plenty. Like if you're a mouse, there are plenty of places where you can hide. Can I find in the plants, like in the dirt, a little pebble to see if I can flick it under the door and hit one of their feet? Okay. Yeah. Yes. So you find like a little, mm -hmm. you know, within the earth, something little, little hard pebble. You go to the door and you you put it there and you like mouse flick it, like turn around and roll it. Roll a d20. Four. Just to see if you actually hit someone's foot. Nope. It just... Does it get anyone's attention? Um, no. Okay. All right. So after like a few more minutes, the Archbishop is like, we, we, will, uh, we will break yeah. for now. Everyone needs to obviously do their respective levels of research. Uh, we will readjourn tomorrow morning. Uh, my friends, you as guests of His Holiness are welcome to stay here. We'll have a, a feast tonight. I'm not sure if His Holiness will be there, but some members of the royal family might be. Uh, please uh, let your valets know if you need anything. We'll have also some fresh clothes for you uh, for tonight's feast. You know, can I ask ahead of time? I hate you know to be the guy to do it on on the stand, but does he does his holy minute, holiness mind if we take like portraits with him, or is he cool with us like asking, or is he kind of like doesn't want to be disturbed kind of guy? Uh, there would not be enough time for an artist <laughs> to render a portrait. Uh, I suppose a sketch. Perhaps. Oh yes, the sketch would be a great. Do you, have the, do you have like a local sketch artist you could hire for tonight then, specifically for? Uh, I do. Yes. Great. Can you call him in? I will. Great. Uh, he is. Great. Thanks, he's man. a young artist, but he's very talented. What's uh, his name? Manese. Oh. He's, oh, Manese. Yes, he's very talented. Ooh, he sounds hot. Can I? Can I do a? <laughs> can I see a? Can I do a perception roll to see if he's hitting on me? The Archbishop is hitting on me. I really don't think <laughs> Wouldn't really it be is. great if he was, though? 19. <laughs> He's totally not hitting on you. <laughs> thank right. you, Tony, for that. I don't He's think like, I'm thank you, Council. Uh, we will reconvene I don't think the tomorrow game morning. Went on. All right, so he gets up. You guys get up. Um, Can I follow Laura? Yes. Great. What am I doing? I want to corner her and kind of ask about the whole... How they she all disperse. Mm -hmm. um, so... Like his assistants take, you know, all their notes. Everybody, basically, everybody disperses. Um, and then, unless you guys want to do anything specific, so Albert, I just I basically need to know what you want to do if you're doing anything other than just like listening. Well, is there a way I can flick another rock and see if I can hit the feet yes. again? Yes. D twenty. Okay. Thank you. Fifteen. Okay. Plus one. Hey, look at that. You hear someone go, huh. That's all. Can I'm you gonna, do, keep doing it so it freaks I'm gonna, I'm, I'm after the meeting, I'm just going to walk downstairs. And okay. Try and go. You walk down this. a long hallway. Can I keep Am I at the door? You see the door down the long hallway. You see a large humanoid person in nice clothes walking towards the door. I'm going to go up and knock on the door. You knock on the door? Yes. Okay. Wow. Roll a... 
<laughs> Roll a constitution save. Oh, wow. 18. It's going to be a 19. I guarantee it. 11, 12, 14. You only take 7 damage. You are... You, you go to knock on the door and you're like, oh, and it feels like somebody just like wow, counter punched you in the arm. That. You fly back five Don't. feet and you land on your ass in the hall. And you're like shoulder Can in I your see arm. All this? Nice I saw it. You just, not electric, but just straight up force. Imagine like the rug, but like times 10. And I saw all this happening. Right yeah. Right. yeah. You saw him go like, ooh. Yes, I know can, 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 um, um, hi. Can I take, wait, does Tony still have the rug or does he not have the rug anymore? He doesn't have the rug? Oh, I was going to say, can we door. go down and look at the door and see if the door and the rug are the Push exact the same? Yes, you could have done that. I'm sorry, Billy, you told me <laughs> to give up over. I mean, oh. you could still go ask for it. It's up to you. Just throw no, it. No, you know what, I, I'm going to save you a trip. He won't, he won't give it to you. The symbols on this door do not look like the symbols on the rug. Do they look like anything we've seen? That was a neat idea, though. That's the kind of thinking that makes me happy. It gives me a reason to live. All right. Um, you see you see him just fly back. Like, literally, like, coo, like, super kicked through the air. Five feet lands on his ass in the hallway. It hurts. Like, your shoulder hurts. You're like, ow. Can we? Seven points of damage. Can I go? Also hey! I'm gonna yell. Uh, well, I'd yell in pain anyways. I yeah. just went flying. Ah. Alright, the door, the door opens, the and like it's halfway open, and like one of the like lab assistant wizards like looks out and he's like, What are you doing here? Why are you on the floor? Uh, what are you doing not, down here? I just said I, I came to see what's going on. I don't know my, play, my way around here. Knocked on this door, heard some voices Why would you knock it. on a door with magical runes on it? I didn't know. What kind of a wizard are you? Slap not a wizard, that, right not a right wizard that casts the these runes. While this is can going I enter on? the room? Well, you can't enter it without knowing the word. But now you can't because I'm holding the door open, so come in. And I also I'm scurry in. in. I right, also you, scurry you, you do. Okay. I'm not even going to make you make a stealth roll because this guy's so busy looking at him that he doesn't notice like you on the floor. So you're like, and you like dart in and you're up against the wall. And you could see this huge laboratory, right? It's, uh, imagine like, imagine the study hall room. Yeah. Except, you know how tall the ceilings are? Yeah. Except imagine that there are bookshelves built into the walls that go all the way up to the ceiling okay. with those ladders on them. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? The yeah, rail those ladders. Those are so fun. There are so many books in this room. Like, it's impossible. Then there's these huge long work tables with like scrolls and things laid out on them and stuff. It's, it's the biggest... It is without a doubt the biggest collection of books you have ever seen in any of your lives. It's massive. And there's about 12 other wizards that weren't even at the meeting, like reading, writing down things in scrolls, like just all sorts of work happening, right? So the, the, Thank you. the, uh, the associate wizard is like, well, what, what did you want? Uh, I heard they were bringing uh, an egg that we discovered down here. I wanted well, yeah, to. Yeah, we brought it down here. Of course we did. I wanted to hear what kind of discoveries you've made. Well, come on. He walks over to the table. You see the egg. It's like yeah. sitting on like a, like a velvet pillow. You know, like just. And there's like three or four wizards around it. There's books and scrolls you open, and like around, two of them are like arguing. They're like, no, I don't think it's. I wouldn't describe it as scales in the same way. Well, I would. And, uh, I mean, the, clearly, these are diamond-shaped scales. Look at the comparative literature. And, you'll, you know, like, they're kind of arguing about the texture of the shell. And, and like, he's like, well, that's the progress we've made. You could see what, 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 what we found. It's right there. And he, like, points Thank to you. one yes, of the notebooks. Sort of Thank you, you. You see that they have, like, notes about it. There's a couple books open. The, the two, like, arguing wizards, like, look over at you, and they're like, <laughs> and then they, like, go back to their work, writing things down, and they're like, hmm. I'm going to start inspecting the books with particular 
uh, attention. You go to touch one of the books and the wizard's like, hat, hat, hat. and he points to a sign. Over on the wall, you see a wash basin and like some towels. He's like, go on. I'll go wash my hands. Um, as you see after that, I go wash my hands, Hold on. Just punch him. You, as, as I see that, like the action. wash basin water is very clean. There's like some, you like wash your hands, dry them on these nice towels, and then you come back and he's like, yeah. As I see that, I go next to the guy who was being super defensive, and yeah. I take a little mouse poop next to him. <laughs> just so he knows. No, 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 just. <laughs> All right, so you, you see, like, they, they've gotten some degree of, of interest going on. They're, and basically, they're looking through, and they're like, where is Azeroth? They're like, you know, saying, it's he's, he's not, gone. I don't think it's an amphibian. I think it's really more, uh, yes, we'll have to see about, uh, like, so here's what I'm going to summarize. As you're kind of peeking in on what they're doing, you notice that like a lot of the literature, like a lot of the books that they have open and some of the scrolls, some of them are like illuminated, you know, like they're, they're drawings and illustrations in there. And some of them are not, but you kind of get the gist that they're researching this egg and they don't seem to be, there's no, there's no support that this is related to Kaisal Iblis. There's no support that this is related to the race of the red demon babies. Even though they are. Yeah. You see books about dragons. You see books about demons. You see books about uh, anthropomorphic like insectopods. But you don't see books about the Kaisal Iblis with anywhere around where they're studying right now. Um, but what I wanted to do is look through the books especially the ones with the word void or any of them that draw me to it. Oh, also, I'd like to try and telepathically communicate with Jaquan. You can't. Where is Azeroth? Why, didn't, why is like no one like looking around for Azeroth or asking this guy? So, he's super suspicious. He went down into the dungeon with them, and now he's just gone, and there's no books open do? about the devil? It kind of sounds like they're just trying to like distract everybody. But what do I know? I'm not there, Albert. And you are, I'm a mouse. And you are a I am forest a mouse. gnome. And I mean, I'm also a it mouse. It is kind of racist of me to say, but you are a forest gnome. So you who could what? possibly take a forest gnome seriously? I'm currently a mouse, Tony. I can't All ask. Right. So, so as a mouse, what are you doing? Well, well he's how, doing research. What are you doing? Is there anyone in like the back of the room being sketchy? No, but in the back of the room there is a door, no. another door. Touch, hold it. There's Touch. no markings on it. Go through the door. No, oh, look at that smile. What? <laughs> there's no door. Marking. It's he just said a wooden there's door. no markings Dude, on it. Dude, it's definitely just gonna be a little like little poop hole. He wants but you to find what's in there. I think. You make an investigation roll. Since you're going to do some research. No, on the books. You said you were researching yeah. things looking for void. 15. Plus? 15. Oh, is that your total? All right, I'll get back to you. So I'm looking around. Do I see anyone sketchy? No. You see more just a pack of, like, bookish wizards of all races. Like, you see some, a couple of elves in there. You got, like, a Okay, dwarf. so they're diverse. You got some yeah, gnomes. The There's actually a rock gnome, not a forest gnome. There's, There's a rock a gnome in there. There's, There's a, a couple game. of halflings. <laughs> the halflings are doing research, and they're on like these stools so that they can reach the other tables. And then there's like a like a lot of humans. There's a couple dragonborn. You got a mix. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Human. All right, so Dorm. not not sketched Dorm. out about the people in there. You don't see any tabahi. Hey. What are, what are tabahi? Of her course. Race? Yeah, her race. You don't see any cat people. What the fuck that supposed to mean? And actually, Nothing. and actually, you also don't see any tieflings. How do you know the names of the creatures? And you Those didn't are tell the us. slightly you demonoid ask, people did that you? like. I did. Haley's character that was. The first thing I hey, oh, okay. sh talk over. So what do you do? So I'm gonna the only thing other than tons of books and workshop tables and wizards working on research is that door in the back of the room. So I'm gonna go to the door. Mm -hmm. Is there any? Explain that it was just a wooden door. Yep, with a handle. So like how we have the yep. fridge door, but we're in, okay. Is there any light coming from under it? Yes. Any noise? Actually, an absurd amount of light. And by the way, this room is very well lit too. It's not just like candles and torches. Like Magical. there are orbs all over the place that are lit. And every once in a while, one of them will wink out and the wizard like that's working will just be like, and like turn it back on, like point at it and light will come okay. out. Okay. 
What color is the light coming from? Just white light. Just white like light. nice soft, like the Extra China bright light. Okay. Are there any mirrors in this room? No. Okay. Anything I could slide under the door. You could fit under the door. I There's like a gap. Door. Yeah. Mice mice, I don't know if you know this, people. Mice can basically like yeah. flatten their bodies like cats, to yeah. an incredible like they can fit through holes that are way smaller than their bodies. As long as their skull can fit through a hole, they can fit through a hole. Don't ask me why I know that. I, I knew that. But it has to do with I think my it was ratatouille. Oh, those are rats. Rats are different. Mice are very small. Yeah, All I right, know. So Albert, what do you do? Stop killing us, Goku. I gotta it's not know. even your character, Albert. You have to gotta know. I gotta know. You have to know. It's I'm gonna go out. through under the door. And that's where we'll leave off. I hate you. You go under the door, and there's a small 12 by 12 office with a desk, some bookshelves, and a, a chest. And you see Master Azeron at his desk. And he's like looking through a book and writing down notes. It's just him looking at a book. Then why did Jaquan go out? So There's he doesn't see. What's, is place. there anything behind him? Big nope. desk, nothing. It's just a little room like this. It's like an office. Yeah. Is there? There's any, like a nice chair too, like a like a, a nice padded. Is like there upholstered chair? Any way I could get a vantage point higher than him to see what yes. book? He, okay. You can make without a, him seeing me. Well, that's up to you. I mean, you can climb up one of the bookshelves pretty quickly, but if he sees you, he sees you. That's it's a contested roll. Oh. You roll stealth, I roll his perception. That's mm. my stealth, plus three. And I still have the plus one inspiration. Go ahead, burn it. You got nothing to lose. It's what not even you? your character. <laughs> Though I if I roll a positive number, like I'm gonna do it. Okay. You no, mean I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> All, right. All right. Roll both d20s. Ooh, yeah, what do you mean a positive? Take the number? higher of the two. Go ahead. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Kiss goodbye, Albert. <laughs> wow. This guy has a one perception. Yeah. Oh, no. He's, he's like, huh. And he goes like this, and he reaches <laughs> his hand out. No, you you feel yourself being lifted up by an invisible force. He's like, come here, little guy. And he lifts you up, and you're just Crushes floating me. in the air. And he's like, now, what, what did you think you'd find down here? He's just holding you up in the air. Turn back to mm. Alex. No, 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 <laughs> pretend to be a mouse. Just he goes, mouse. he's like, which one are you? That's the question. He knows you're one of he us. Goes, I don't know if you're the mouthy little forest gnome. God, I'm just going <laughs> to suck this <laughs> Or the cat lady. Or the hey, leader of the group. Uh, leave me out of this. Oh, wow, you just got to Oh, wait a, a minute. Lady. Maybe, maybe you are that pretty half-elf. Hmm. I'm the leader of the group. I can turn into yeah. anything, right? That, yeah. Well, turn into a bear. bear. Well, turn into a bear. bear just crush you. <laughs> you, could turn, you could turn into a bear. Yeah. Could you turn into a whale? Could you turn into a dinosaur? So Whales are mammals, though. A right, T-Rex? Yeah, but the, the challenge rating is too big. Um, How big is the room? 12 by 12. How quickly do I turn into this thing? Instantaneously. Because you have the, the circle that you're a part of, the druid circle that you're a part of, your wild shape is like on, st on steroids. Like you, that's why you're able to turn into a higher challenge rating than most druids your level. What is the biggest possible beast I can turn into? I'm just gonna tell you this. This is a, I'm giving you this as a freebie. This is the highest level wizard oh. in the domain who, invi who advises the king, not the king, but the leader of the theocracy. So whatever you turn into, he could cast one spell that would annihilate you. But I could just crush him, theoretically. You could try. But sure. he also picked you up He would with kill no you hand. so Well, fast. he's using Mage Hand. Mage Hand's nothing. But he picked you up because you're a mouse. Now, if you turned into yourself, he wouldn't be able to pick you up. But if you turn into a bear and you're threatening him, he's going to cast something at you, and it won't be pretty. Try to seduce him. Try to seduce him. Try to seduce uh, did him. I, did I actually pee or poop yet? Did you think that was a joke? All right, you poop. I pee. You pee. Okay. He's like, hmm. <laughs> He's like, he goes, let's, he goes, I'll set you down there. And he sets you on the ground. And then he opens the door with his mage hand. And he's like, why don't you go scurrying along? There's nothing here for you to get into. Okay. This is so deceptive. We though. will, uh, we'll let you know, you and your friends know when we have found something. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Silly. And then he like goes back to his work. 
He's yeah, he's play that well. He is. I don't trust him at all, Bill. This guy's evil. Jaquan I'm gonna roll. Just, I'm gonna there. roll intelligence. I rolled a fifteen on my investigation towards books about Void. Okay. If you find uh, several references to um, ancient temples to Taik. Taik. The Void God. Yeah. Or goddess. It's really. Hey, the goddess. entity of the void. Let us have some credit here. Yeah. Yeah. See if any other. Well, it's Taik is genderless. Okay, fine. So it's a he she. They. <laughs> we'll say it's a they. <laughs> it's a they. And the references <laughs> to it's an it. the early temples of Taik and how they had at times to achieve balance manipulated evil to balance out good, and then at other times manipulated good to balance out evil. Does it say anything about where these temples are? Um, there's one reference to Kadimki Kala, which you actually know is a military fortress. You don't know about a temple, but you know that there's a military Who's fortress, there's a keep. Fortress. It's part of the theocracy. It to the be. northwest of the kingdom, to the northwest, is a, is a military fortress built into the mountains called Kadimgi Kala. Would it be run by the dwarf who took the gem earlier? Uh, it could be. Because you don't know. that could be a thing. If there's some sort of god trying to manipulate a general Kadim. to get a gem. And and it, the to book says, like, the temple... Who took the gem? There's no gem. Yeah, the, the oh, gem? right, no, the dwarf went off to go figure it out, right. Uh, does it say <sighs> Kadimki Kala is, like, a temple of void, or is it just, like, a, a name of... No, it just refers to a temple to Taik that was there. Okay. But this seems to be very old, so without much context, you don't have no real idea, but that's, those are the only references. Other than that, most of the books that they have out are a mix of, like, nature and arcane kind of like exploring creatures and you know the the laying of eggs and what kinds of creatures lay their eggs and how they lay the eggs and how they incubate them and all that kind of stuff so that's there's a lot of that material out okay okay what do you do mouse so I, i'm out i got kicked out of the studio or his um yes he kicked you out of the studio. He's like, get out. But you're literally still a mouse, and you're walking around the lab. Like, he knows you're there. His door is open. So, be sure. You, oh, by the way, you see that. Like, you look up, and you see, like, there's a door at the end of the room, and you see, like, a desk, a and mouse you see... mouse flicked out. You, you see the master, like, sitting at his desk, and he's, like, writing some notes and reading. He's, like, smoking a pipe. And... He's a stoner. You don't see the mouse, but you... You see, like, there's an open door to an office. And that's where we're going to end this episode of D&D High School Students. Thanks oh, for watching. God. Thanks for muscling through it. So many brain cells were used so to produce this episode. Brain cells. And you know what I think, guys? It's good. It's good to challenge your minds to think critically. Well, I like this. I My think this is hurts. more fun than fun. I have a headache. It's, uh, it's all about crafting the story, and that's what yeah, we're doing together here, It's people. just really frustrating. Yeah. I enjoyed this. I actually. feel like Azron is totally guilty, but I have no idea how we're going to catch him. He's Tony, you know what? I can't wait for I can't wait for the comments where people either agree with you or, or they just agree apart. Slam I feel like I, they I haven't read the comments in a while. Ring. But I feel like I'm so definitely to being about torn that. apart for like, like, like ten reasons. I wonder how people are gonna react. How many times have I been right though? We'll I was right about Yomi. Like, I was right. I've been okay, right about pretty much find every out, single conspiracy theory I've flanked. Like, wow. I'd yes. say at least they're not playing correctly. Right. They're not. Which means that I don't know why they just keep like ignoring me when I'm like, you know. Tony, someday they will all know. Hello mate, thanks for watching all the videos, make sure that you look up there and subscribe, 
And don't forget to check out some of the other videos, like them up there or those down there. We'll see you next time.